That's a heavy box. I just matched him. My name's Ben, and I'm on a quest to find a shed antler in every state in the U.S. I don't even know if this is possible, and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. I don't even really know what to say about you. I was in this state for one day. It was very flat, but also very beautiful. Here's some stock footage that I stole from YouTube. Hope you enjoy. Well, good morning. I woke up in a hotel room, slept in that bed, and uh, I'm in the state of Kansas. Headed back through on a road trip in Burke, Siena. Came down through Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and now here to Kansas. Kansas is different. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this one off, to be honest. I don't have any friends here, I don't have any contacts. Literally just using me on X and hoping for the best. So we're basically gonna try to do, find some timber that butts up to some crops and hope for the best. It's gonna be an adventure, go for a while. Oh yeah. The mud bogging in the minivan now. Tires coming in handy today. Off we go. Got it on that field edge there and there's a boot track in the mud, which you can take either way depending if you're an optimist or pessimist. I'm an optimist, so I say, hey, people are hiking this for sheds, decent chance that there's sheds here, you know? Maybe they missed one, maybe they didn't take some of these lines back in the timber, whatever it might be, but I don't automatically say, oh no, not good. Especially if I'm in a brand new area, oh hey, a rabbit. Especially if I'm in a brand new area where I've never been before and I picked a spot on the map to shed hunt and boom, there's people hiking it for sheds. That means we're in the general zone. But there's a ton of deer sign in here. All these have scrapes all over in them, so we're in a good little zone here. Just gotta make her happen. Question is, is how much do I trust the beavers that constructed this dam? I crossed this creek down there a little ways. Also, Kansas is known to have alligators. Alleged, oh, this thing is solid as a rock. These beavers must have gone to engineering school. No gators? All right. I saw a video the other day of a lady She's 85, getting eaten by an alligator. I didn't like it. Yeah, we got it, guys. We pulled it off. We got a set of turtle sheds right here. Totally counts. So, good job, we got it in Kansas. I never said it had to be deer sheds, so. so that's a snapping turla. Big old snapping turla right there. We got it. Psych, psych, sorry guys, sorry to get your hopes up. We're still hiking. Working these field edges and all these little creek banks and stuff. and. There's some decent scrapes. I keep seeing good signs, so I have hope that if we put in the miles, we'll earn one. Over there yonder, you can see where a beaver is doing some, I mean, over there yonder, you can see where a big old buck was rubbing on those things, and you guys probably never even seen a buck so big that he can rub through and sharpen off a whole tree. Down there, there's some more buck rubs. The bucks, what they'll do is they'll rub these trees until they fall down, and then they fling them into the river, and it, and it dams, dams up the river. Pretty cool. All right, so let's reevaluate here. Made her back, no sheds found. So that track, according to Onyx, 3.1 miles, uh, one hour and 56 minutes, an average speed of 1.6 miles an hour. So I feel like we covered this piece of property pretty well. I'm gonna put a screenshot up here. Um, for zero antlers, I mean, Name of the game, I feel like I hit all the good stuff. It had been walked, but uh, we ain't done. We ain't out of this, so I'm gonna find the next piece available that I can hike, which looks like it's gonna be actually maybe just across the way. Let me zoom out a bit. I found a place that I liked the look of, but it was a few hours away, so I made a little drive. I started hiking and it didn't take long. Well, that's something. Dead buck, nose eating off. First deer or anything I've found in Kansas. I don't know what the rule is on deadheads. I'll have to look it up. It's small though. I don't want to take that stinky thing in the van with me anyway. So, cool. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> look at that. 
I picked it up to flip it over to take a picture and it popped off. I wonder if this one will too. Huh, that's crazy. I mean, does it count? I don't know, I think it looks like a shed to me. I don't know if we're counting that or not, but, yeah, pretty cool. Side is not going anywhere, but I got one. I don't know if I'm counting that or not. I guess we'll see how the rest of the day goes. I don't feel like it's a shed. It's not a dead buck, even though it popped off. It must, I don't know, man. It, I like, didn't put that much force on it. I just pu pushed on it to see if it would pop, and it did. Hmm. You're an antler eater. Where are they? I need one, bro. Hey, look, let's make a deal. Tell me, hey, come here. I want to talk to you. Tell me where the sheds are, bro, and I'll let you eat this one. Come on. Let's make, I mean, it's almost a shed, almost. I just can't make myself count it. I gotta get another one. Rub, 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 rub. Rubs are a pretty good shed sign where I usually shed hunt. I don't know if it's the same thing with white tails. It seems like they do a lot more of their rubbing in the rut. And I think that's probably true with all species. But I do like to look at this because it's kind of tricky to get back in here kind of thick and I don't think most guys hiking for sheds are gonna come beat their way through this stuff but then again there's a lot of hardcores out there <laughs> we did it it's almost freaking dark yes oh it's chalky that is an old way old antler but man that's a Kansas shed baby that counts I was thinking about counting this one and then I'm like man I don't want to count it if it's not a shed. Sheds only. And uh, I came out into this little grassy area here. I've been walking through the, the bedding and stuff. And I got this little chalker right here. Oh, old school. Man, that horn. I mean, that's got to be several years old. But that counts. That's a shed. Beautiful. So freaking stoked that we can check off Kansas on our way through. Yes, we got... Man, I got another hour before it gets dark, so uh, I'm gonna keep working my way through this stuff. But yeah, baby, we got it. Check it. Cha -ching! What a day. Oh man, get a load of that freaking stud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That dude is a hammer. What? Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. What a stud. Freaking sweet. Sweet. Before it gets too dark here, I wanted to set this up and show you this freaking buck. Look at that thing. Beautiful. Kansas buck, big brow tines. Uh, he's got a little kicker coming off right there, hard to see. Another one here on the front, but just an absolute stud buck. This side's a lot better. He has a really good G2 there, good three, small four, big brows. That two is a little bit more, um, kind of short but it still is like nine inches long freaking stud biggest white tail I've ever picked up with like deadhead for sure so super stoked and then little sheds to add to that super successful day here in Kansas heading home happy baby late night hotel editing session going down right now so um, I do need to do some thank yous I <laughs> realize that I probably look a little bit roasted right now um, we just got out of we just did four four days in the New Mexico and Arizona backcountry for elk shed so those will be the next videos coming up but I do need to thank some people who bought apparel I got the list right here in front of me we're running through them so also I want to thank you guys for your patience um, it's been a little bit slow getting these orders out my apparel company just had a little bit of an issue with the print-on-demand machine should be fixed and order should be by the time this video goes out everything should be shipped so all right i need to thank connor henderson um thank you connor charles matheson jamie wilkinson 
Kevin Maxfield, Kyle Olson, Ramona Chavez, Graham Christie, family, not a boy, Graham. Thank you. Kurt Coase, uh, Stefan Mullins, Matt Lee. What, Matt Lee? Come on, dog. Why are you buying my stuff, bro? Just text me. <laughs> Benjamin Melvin, um, Brett R. Goodwin, Corey Leach, Cody Cartwright, Calvin Ferguson, another one of my buddies. Come on, man. Calvin, killer taxidermist, trophy room taxidermy. Check him out, you guys. Uh, Connor McKeachney and Jason Grove. And I think that's where we're going to get to on this one. So thank you guys for buying and supporting. I hope you guys love the merchandise. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to getshitcrazy.com. I have a whole new lineup there, hoodies, hats, shirts. And new hats are coming soon. I know that we haven't had the new hats up there yet, but they'll be there soon. So thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for supporting. I'm going to bed. <laughs>